from the official television station of Illini Sports, this is WCIA 3 Sports and Copper Creek Contractors, your Illini Nation. Illinois basketball looks to all but punch its ticket to a double bye in the Big Ten tournament with a win over Minnesota. The Golden Gophers picked to finish last in the preseason poll, but they have made some noise starting the night seventh in league play. It's the penultimate home game for the Illini at State Farm Center this season, and they see... The orange and blue get out to an early lead. It is Coleman Hawkins draining a three. He makes the first eight points for the Illini, but the Gophers not going anywhere as Dawson Garcia comes up with a three for them. He goes for 29 points, tying for a game high. How about Dane Danger, the Minnesota native, the athletic move. They call him the Dancing Bear. He plays some big-time minutes tonight for the Orange and Blue. Then Terrence Shannon Jr. from the corner. How about 29 points from him as well? He has been so good late, but Minnesota, they are not deterred. That's Cam Christie, the Illinois native. He had a huge first half with 17. Luke Goody answers him for three in a defense optional game almost all the way around from both teams. Then the little feed from Ty Rogers to Danger. Once again, he has a nice night off the bench. 11 points for him. Minnesota, though, they were fierce. Pharrell Payne with the putback dunk. The Illini too much in the end, though. Another TSJ3. That was 70 to 65 at that point. And how about this? Illinois hangs 100, 105 to 97 in the final. Both two teams shoot 60% from the field. 1994, you have to go back 30 years, the last time Illinois scored 100 plus points in regulation in a Big Ten game as the Illini improved to 21 and 7 on the season, 12 and 5 in Big Ten play. Let's go right back out to State Farm Center. Courtney Lane Brewer standing by live with a special guest. Courtney. Thank you. All right, I'm joined now by Quincy Garrier. Let's see if they've told you this yet. This is the first time Illinois has scored 100 points in a regular season game since tonight, in a regular season Big Ten game since 1994. Yeah, I didn't know nothing about it, but uh, we had a really good offensive uh, night tonight. We had three guys uh, scoring 20 points plus, so uh, it was a great win for us. You finished the night with 10 and a big bounce back game for this team. How do you take this one and head into these next couple of tough Big Ten games? Yeah, I mean, one game at a time. Uh, we have a tough game on Saturday at Wisconsin. Uh, you know, we, we, we I think we can still maybe finish first, depending on what Purdue's going to do, but we got to take care of what we can control, and uh, we got to get there with a the right mindset, and we'll see how it goes. This was a much closer game than many people said it would be. What was Coach saying to you all in some of those late timeouts to help you power through towards this win? I mean, just, you know, communicate, stay focused, locked in. Uh, you know, it's a Big Ten play. You know, there's... Most of our game is going to be like that. It's going to be close until the end, and uh, we just got to make sure that we uh, stay together and that uh, we play well. Back on the road this weekend, but then one more here, and it's a big one. How do you start preparing for that game against Purdue? Like I said, uh, one game at a time. Uh, so we'll take care of Saturday, the game on Saturday, and then we'll, we'll, we'll see after. But like I said, I think we just got to be connected, locked in, and uh, got to take care of what we got to do. Quincy, thank you so much. The Illini finishing 105 versus 97 versus Minnesota. Brett, I'll send it back to you. All right, Courtney, thank you so much for even more coverage. Watch the Illinois postgame press conference live on our digital channels. Getting ready for that right now. The WCIA3 Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages. It's back.